So the Broward County Police Department has arrested a second suspect in the murder of XXX Tentacion, the beloved rapper from Florida. But the thing that I don't understand is they had the dude in custody for like four or five days. Why did it take so long to serve the warrant? BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? All right, so a second suspect has been arrested in the fatal shooting of XXX Tentacion that happened in Florida. Um, okay, so the, this is the weird thing. Okay, this is weird to me. I'm going to explain why this is weird. But first, let's talk about the gentleman that they currently don't have, Robert Allen. They released Robert Allen's name. Um, I think they uh, re uh, re released the gentleman's name that they actually just picked it up. Michael Boatwright. Michael Boatwright. He was arrested actually on July 5th on unrelated drug charges. But that's the thing that's killing me over here. But hold on. So Robert Allen has uh, not been apprehended. But he's the guy that they have the pictures for, that they've been looking for, and everything else. Right? I'm, I remember at one point that they were saying that both of these gentlemen were on the run. Am I correct? Both of these gentlemen were on the run at one time. So, if the guy is on the run, how is he being, Michael Boatwright that is, how is he being arrested by police on some kind of petty drug charge? You see, the only thing I'm trying to say, I'm not saying that this ain't the guy. Don't get it wrong. But I said before, I've said this before. I don't think they're going to catch these guys. And what I mean by that is, I think that there's just dead bodies is going to pop up. But when you already have somebody in custody because you've arrested them for something else, obviously you can't kill them then, right? I mean, I mean, theoretically you could, but you probably wouldn't. So Michael Boatwright, 22, has been arrested. He was actually uh, arrested on some unrelated drug charges. And I'm not sure how, if there's a warrant out for your arrest, right? They pick you up on anything that they still keep you for like a week <laughs> before they... Like this, I'm not trying to laugh, but I don't, like, this don't, I don't know, this don't fly with me. He gets arrested on the 5th, and we don't hear it about it to the 10th, 11th. So they kept him about five days, five, six days. What, did they not know who he was, even though there was a warrant out for his arrest? But the Robert Allen guy, they let everybody know who he was, they let everybody know what his picture is. But this dude, they didn't tell nobody nothing about. I think I heard his name. I think I read his name. I, I think they put the name out there. I, I, I think. But Robert Allen, they were pushing for hard. Anyway, so they're saying that this guy, Michael Boatwright, was actually the shooter. That's what they're saying. Michael Boatwright was actually the shooter. At least that's what all the headlines are saying. They're saying that he was the guy that actually did the shooting. I don't have much faith in these police officers currently. I mean, just police officers in general, I don't have a lot of faith in them telling us what's going on. But I live in New York City, and in New York City, the police don't tell you shit. All right? For everybody that don't know. The police, they they hide a lot of information from uh, the news and from the public, and then, you know, they just, any old charge they could get you on, that's how you get got. Anyway, so... They've arrested him. We're going to see what happened. They still have uh, the other individual, Dedrick Williams. And we don't know if anybody's talking at this point. But I don't think neither one of these guys is going to be is gonna be uh, breathing any, any free air again. I don't think neither one of these guys is going to be breathing any free air again. You got to understand, when... Uh, When you kill a celebrity, 
Name somebody that's killed the celebrity and a celebrity. And, you know, besides the doctor death for Michael Jackson, who's, you know, walking the street. When you kill a celebrity, it's that's kind of the end of the road. Like, it really is. Anyway, so uh, let me know what you guys think about this. They caught him. Somehow they had him in custody for about a week, almost a week. He, they had him in custody. I'm guessing they did not know who he was. I'm not trying to laugh, but this just sounds, this is comical. Like, I don't understand how you could have such a high-profile murder as XXX Tentacion. This was a high-profile murder. High-profile. And freaking the people that did it, you know, some of them even caught on camera. The one guy that we know for a fact was caught on camera, he's still out there somewhere. Now, I don't mean to bring this up, but... I'm really starting to understand why the NYPD and the LAPD are considered some of the best police force in the world. For everybody that don't know, yeah, for everybody that don't know, the NYPD, like uh, amongst like uh, the 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 police um, fraternity of policemen or whatever you want to call you know these guys, the fraternity of of law uh, disher out disher outers of. Uh, arrests or whatever the hell I don't know what you want to call them but along their whole fraternity NYPD and the LAPD is considered to be like two of the best in the world just for people to know that in the world you know what I'm saying and, and I'm not talking about these countries where the police is militarized no because they got quite a few countries where the police isn't really police they're like it's really the, the army, it's the military that police the people. For people that don't know, there's quite a few countries like that. But just like, you know, actual police force, NYPD, LAPD, if, if that dude would have committed that crime in New York City, been on, on camera, like they got him on camera, killing XXX Tentacion, they would have got him two days before he did it. That dude would be arrested right now. You understand what I'm saying? He'd be arrested, that Robert Allen dude. But, um... Obviously, they've seen. They, how are you gonna have the guy? See, this is killing me. They they got the guy in custody. He's in custody like five days, and then and now they, they they like you know they had to have had him at least two days before they knew who he was. Before they knew there was even a warrant out for him. How do you not know that there's a warrant out for somebody that kills uh, uh, this such a high profile um public figure? You know how do you not know? I, anyway. Uh, leave the comments down below. I want to know what you guys think about this. I think this is some bullshit. I'm happy they got the guy. Very happy they got the guy. But if you arrest the guy that has a warrant out for them, and you don't even serve that warrant to him for about four days, five days, what kind of what what kind of faith that we have that you can catch the guy that's on the run? I mean, does that make any sense? Or am I sounding like an idiot? If I'm sounding like an idiot, please, about this thing, not about some other thing. Please don't come in, in the freaking comment section and talk about a video that I made a week ago. Yeah, you sound like an idiot on that video. No, I'm talking about here specifically. Am I sounding like an idiot? Like, that? does that make sense? You have a person in custody. <laughs> you arrest the guy for whatever he did, some other innocuous crime or petty crime because I, I think it was like some petty drug stuff I don't know like you know that's what I think it was I think he, he got arrested on a drug charge so they arrest him on a drug charge and compared to murder a drug charge is petty let's just, let's not be dumb and be like oh but it, how do you know it was petty he could have had a whole bunch of bricks compared to a drug charge a murder charge okay so stop so um So I know somebody wrote that in the comments. Please go back and erase it. I know you wrote that. Somebody did. I know. I already know. Anyway, so how do you arrest a guy that you've been looking for? You have a warrant out for their arrest. A warrant. You arrest them and you don't serve the warrant for like four days. Like how much, how much crime is going on in Broward County? Seriously. In Broward County, how much crime is going on and... Maybe they should think about hiring more help. That's what they might need to do. Hire help. Because that shit don't make no sense. Anyway. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombs. Let's get it. 
I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgot about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.